All right, welcome to the post game show, and we're going to start off by recapping the polls from this week. Thanks to our friends at Dollar Shave Club, Epic Razors, epically affordable. Find them in stores or online. Jessica. Oh, we have so many great poll questions, Roy. <laughs> First off, my Twitter limit just went off for the day. Okay. I'm back. Oh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know why I still have that. I go over every day, usually before I get out of bed and just hit ignore. <laughs> the first question, should you have to be warned to not bother alligators? Yeah. The audience says 86% of people, no. Yes. Oh, the other 14% are, what? <laughs> white guys. Well, white, 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 white. Whitest of the white. Yeah. This question is uh, answering Dominique's question of are the Carolina Panthers a Super Bowl contender? I, be I believe we should have played pretender or contender when he brought that up. Mm. But 92% uh, of the audience says no. No. Oh, that's so. a shame. No. Don't know ball. Guess I'm wrong. Did you know that Johnny Manziel didn't come from a rich family? 89% of the audience says no. Also, do we know that they weren't rich or that they, they were just not oil, like money, oil yeah. money? They didn't rich. have oil money. It was one of several lies but that were great fund money, in the documentary. Right? They, like, they could still be like, like, no, we didn't come from oil money. Tycoon. We came from steel, like yeah. U.S. steel or whatever. Like. <laughs> yeah. The other great lie that we didn't touch on in that documentary was, again, his agent, Eric Burkhardt, talking about how to get out of drug testing at the Combine. He had Johnny Menzel's dad fake like a cardiac arrest issue or a heart attack or something. They didn't actually do it. That was something they were planning to do. And then Johnny instead drank a lot of water to get out of it, right? Isn't that what he said? Not to get out of it's it, a, to defeat the test. It's amazing that he couldn't just spend like two weeks of like, hey, man, let's let's keep it clean. Up the funny the thing is, like, there's a lot in that documentary that I don't necessarily believe to be true. And one of them is Johnny said that when he was preparing for the draft that he was clean and he did all the hard working stuff and didn't do drugs and focused in and did everything he was supposed to do all the way up until – just a week before the, the combine. And a week before the combine, he slipped up and he did drugs. And then they had to figure out how to address it. It just, it strikes me as odd when we're watching a documentary that said, in high school, he was wild and out of control. In college, he was wild and out of control. In the NFL, he was wild and out of control. But in that pre-draft time, that man locked in, but it, made a mistake a week and, before no, the combine. He locked in until a week before the combine <laughs> when he was wild and out of control. <laughs> exactly. I was like, what? Y'all spec me to buy this. It's like Denzel in flight <laughs> where he's been good, and then he gets up to the Congress hearing. He's, I'm drunk right now. I'm drunk. <laughs> Is there going to be an untold documentary about what was untold in the untold documentary? Oh, wow. <laughs> I will it's not called, be watching it unless we have to make content. It's called Told. <laughs> Told. <laughs> or is it called retold? Oh. Told you. That's the, that's the sequel. Yeah, that's the sequel. <laughs> Telling it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big poll question. Who wins in a fight, Lionel Messi or Amin Al Hassan? Oh boy. I, I'm Amin. holding up to Don't the cameras. Indulge, Hold Amin. on. I'm holding up to the cameras what Messi will be after he mess with me. You see this can? I put it on the ground and I crunched it. Not according to the audience, because 63% said Lionel Messi is winning that fight. Dude, he will kick you that in the shins. That is so low. 63% is way too low. You should be really flattered by that, I mean. That I'm not flattered. I remember one of our, like, more, we have lots of ridiculous locker room debates in the NFL. One of our more ridiculous ones that I remember was when I was at the Ravens, we had a debate on who would win in a street fight, Floyd Mayweather or Ray Lewis. It went on for a long way. And that's an actual interesting conversation. The mean one, not interesting. Messi. Because you know, it's, it's, it's a given. I'm yeah, going to destroy him. I mean, he would literally, him. literally kick your ass. Again, I'm holding Messi up to the camera. Dominating that this fight. is exactly what it would happen. If he messed with me, I, I understand that you have some advantage with size. Some. But, I mean, I mean, no disrespect, but I've, I've seen you do athletic things. Like What's America that supposed to mean? Yeah, like fighting is requires some level of athleticism. Hold on, for, Messi. Hold it on. might be one of the best athletes in the world, and you, let's be generous, are not. Okay, hold on. Straight up, first of all, I take offense. Right? <laughs> you didn't even throw that fish before. Yes. Number first two. First of all, uh, look, that's how you throw fish. You underhand. I'm sorry for having good technique, Pablo. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe you should go up to Pike Market up in Seattle uh, and take a look at them. No one's coming back and throwing it like laces out. 
They're underhanding it. Two hands. That's how you throw fish. Pike place. I want to see laces out is about kicking, by the way. I don't. Football man. That's Ventura. That's your jargon. I mean, American Ninja Warrior. You okay. remember that? Yes, I do remember that, and I'd like to talk about that for okay, a second. Right, you know what? The platform swiveled. That's the thing that no one knows. The platform swiveled, and I did not know. That has nothing to do with athleticism. I couldn't Vince Carter. If I ran up in the same straight line that I did as opposed to at an angle, I would have had the same thing happen to me. You know what it sounded like when Amin did that? Oh, it's a... Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I've seen you run too. Like when did you race Chris Cody? I was coming off a of red eye flight. I was wearing Trust goddamn almighty. like heavy ass J's. Both Chris and and you uh, was wearing fours, I believe. I was wearing uh yeah fives. I was wearing fives, the heaviest of all the Jordans, right? <laughs> Chris and Billy were wearing shorts. They had like moisture wicking shirts. These guys came straight out the gym right there. I was coming up a red eye flight. I was sat in, in in a middle seat. I didn't have anything. My seat was I was in the exit row, so it wouldn't even like extend back. I was upright the whole time. Stepped off the plane, came straight to the studio because I'm the hardest working person here. No one ever recognizes that. And part of athleticism is what? Hard work, right? Yeah, hard what does work. Leo Messi do? Oh, he eats bonbons and 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 goes to Publix and plays against children. Guess what? Ain't no children around here. I would yes, I would, more polls, please. I would think <laughs> I would think that you, My having God. been close to like legitimate yes. world class athletes, legitimate like athletes, I expect yes. this from like Tony, let's say. What? I mean, I What's expect that to mean? like you didn't work with. You athletes. challenged John Amici to a, a one. Yeah, and I, that's still still up. Hey man, but I would think that you would I, know. I didn't. Okay, so can I ask you this? Do you think that if Messi endured all the hardships that you did and then showed up and participated in that race, do you think he would win? Oh, I'm sorry. Are we talking about running or are we talking about kicking somebody's ass? Because those I'm are two just, different they, endeavors. They he are. might have to run. So <laughs> just just to recap, Amin thinks he's better at kicking something than Leo Messi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a lost cause. I'm sorry, Jess. Pull it. Don't apologize. This is a great By the way, tangent. we don't have the rights to this video, so you can't play that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the American Ninja Warrior. You can't play it YouTube. in YouTube.com. Amin it's, it's Al has an American Ninja Warrior the to swiveling see of the platform. what we're talking about. Is Chris oh, Cody gosh. still the cool highlight owner? 73% of the audience says, no, he is not. And I'm surprised it's not more folks because <laughs> he's never been the cool one. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Show the I'm just kidding. Who's I couldn't name Mike? another, though. Mike? <laughs> That's the only other he's one. He's the head of scouting. <laughs> Udonis has not an owner. Yeah, Udonis. If you win the lottery, who do you tell? 74% of the audience says no one. 3% say everyone. 23% close friends. The the 26%, y'all are getting, losing yeah, all your those money. friends are not that You're close. You're blowing all your money. Uh, close friends, like... Includes like your your wife or husband or partner, right? Your, no, is it's it, your green bubble circle on Instagram. Is anyone here voting close friends? Well, or, if, if close friends includes Lehman, like I'm going to tell Lehman, but I'm not going to tell like already messed probably. Up. Already messed up. There you go. Is anyone else here close friends? Yeah, yeah I would. I would tell my like closest closest friends. So and none of us. And I would tell Priya because no, we're in the pack together. Oh yeah. So I have yeah. to tell her. Outside I, of my wife. Not a goddamn person. How is, I, I, need, I need to know. I need to Not know. even Claire, because she'll tell somebody. You're like, oh, daddy, won your lottery. Yep. <laughs> That's right. I need to Look know. Let me think Claire. <laughs> someone put that in the Suey <laughs> nomination bucket. <laughs> I need to know why Jess telling Lehman was a, a mistake. You yeah, why is that a mistake? You can't tell anybody. You can't tell. But then we're breaking up. How no, you don't. Why would you break up? Because then That's all awful. of a sudden I have a billion dollars. He doesn't know won't. that. Yeah. He's going to figure it How's out. How's he going to figure it out? Because I'm not going to lie to him. What? See, there you go. All of a sudden, I'm, <laughs> you're not, you're not all ready. Of a sudden I'm buying a private island, and he's like, wow, the Metal Arc deal must no. be really good. <laughs> Dude, do I have to teach you how to win the lottery? Yes. Look, this, is yes. What, this is what you do, right? You won the lottery. You paid the taxes. Now this is all just straight cash, homie, right? <laughs> what you do is you slightly upgrade your life here and there. Little things, little things, little things. No. Nobody don't, don't, knows. Don't forget the anonymous Like you speak speaking in a gold tooth one day. Say your family's that as well. from oil money. What's up? <laughs> the lottery. Oh, the lottery yeah. will report that. struck gold. Definitely. Black An gold. Anonymous, right? But you can't, you can't ever let on, right? By the way, that's so what you, I would change my name to if I wanted to be. Anonymous? So, so this is what no. you do. Black gold. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Lehman, it's his birthday. You get him a Rolex. And he says, whoa, how'd you afford this? And that's when you say... Rich my, uncle died. Ri not rich uncle died. <laughs> rich uncle who died also had, was a watchmaker. And he is in with all this the- This is lying. I don't lie well to then, my significant other. I guess other. you're going to lose all your money. 
<laughs> I think I can trust him. Mm, okay. If I and couldn't what, trust prenup? him with my life. I, I mean, see, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. See where I take you. I guess we need to finish the polls at some point. But I guess I what I want to know from you, Amin, is what is the horrible outcome that she's avoiding by lying to her significant other? Loose lips <laughs> sink ships. Okay. Cliches is not what I'm <laughs> Three people can keep a secret <laughs> they, if two of them are I mean, dead. I mean, they're not on the boat. They, they, they don't have to worry about their ship sinking. They'll buy one. There you go. <laughs> think so. Well, they can't. How- they can't. That's too big. No, no, they're no. They're not going to be able to buy a boat. No, no, until, no, no. Like, no how, many rel- how many relatives do you have to kill this is what you to, do. To, in order to upgrade your no, life? You, wa- you want to buy a boat? You buy the boat, but then you say, hey, guys, I got a great deal on a boat rental for a couple of days. We're going to go to take a little trip, and, and it's awesome. And oh. then, like, they don't need to know that that's your boat, and that you've been paying for it all along. I mean, has Jess printing up fake Groupons. <sighs> oh, yeah. This is ridiculous. For sure. I would never keep <sighs> this lie up. I would... I, I mean, would tell my boyfriend I at mean, the very least. is a wealth of incredible content. Why don't we just spend the day asking me questions? Because this, from messy to this, it is hilarious. Oh, my water shit. <laughs> <laughs> but the podcast audience, I mean, just spilled his entire water on the floor. Oh, my oh, gosh. That's one great. last one. <laughs> is Harvard ashamed of Pablo Torre? 82% of the audience says yes. That's fair. Of course not. They, they're the very proud of it. Who are the 18%? It was me. Like, I think that they're proud of you, Pablo. Thanks. That's how Dominique gets the humble brag, and I can't. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs>